Hey guys, this is Gemo Edits, and for today's video, I'll teach you how to make this creative clickable dashboard using Microsoft PowerPoint and some slides from PicBest. Here's the file preview or the result from this tutorial, which I will show the process later. You can see how interactive and professionally done this presentation with the help of hyperlink function and of course, the amazing slides from PicBest. Before we start this tutorial, let me introduce to you this powerful site named PicBest. So what exactly is PicBest? PicBest is a high-quality design templates platform for your posters, brochures, business cards, invitations, PowerPoint, illustrations, elements, and more related designs. With the help of PicBest, you can create the most impressive designs and bring your idea to life. Let us now explore PicBest. Just go ahead and type PicBest.com in your search bar. What I like about PicBest is that they provide free limited downloads every day for the free plan. But you can also upgrade later so you can enjoy and access all of their available templates. You can log in or sign up using your Google account or these other options. Once you finish setting up your account, you can then explore the different templates offered by PicBest. You can see here the different designs offered by PicBest. They have this creative design tab for your graphic, templates advertising, graphics, decoration, e-commerce, and more. They also have this presentation tab, which I think is my personal favorite, and I think this will be beneficial for you. They provide PowerPoint templates, Word, and Excel. Aside from this, PicBest also provides templates for your video, such as for After Effects and Premiere Pro, and for music and sound effects. If you are broke, you can also try this free design everyday option offered by PicBest, so you can download some of their designs for free. Since this channel is mainly about PowerPoint presentation, therefore, we will focus under the presentation tab. You can see here how the templates are organized according to their use and themes. They have animated PPT, professional, simple, modern, creative, elegant, and more. You can click the designs you want, then the video preview for the file will show. Once you are decided, you can download the file using this download button. The file will be downloaded through zip file and all you have to do is to extract it. You can then open the file and edit it however you want. So here are some of the PPT templates from PicBest. Moving on to the tutorial video about the clickable dashboard PowerPoint, 
The first thing you need to do is to prepare your slides. In my case, I already prepared mine and these slides are from TechFest. The next thing you need to do is to create a blank slide for slide 1 and add different size of rectangular shape. I will just copy this then change the size. You can add more rectangular or squared shape according to the number of your slides. Just make sure that these shapes have well-balanced space between each other. Then I will just change the color for a shape and it is up to you on how you want to design your shapes. In my case, I will add some color gradient for each shape. The next thing is to add your icons for each shape. The icons that I'll be using for this tutorial are also from PickBest. Just make sure that the icons that you are using are associated to the slides you designed earlier. Then add some title for each icons. I suggest you to put the same as the title for each slide that corresponds that icon. You can also change the background color for your dashboard slide. For this slide, I will add a blue and violet color gradient background. The next step is the most important part. You need to put hyperlinks for each icons. And to do that, you have to right click the icon, choose hyperlink, Click the place in this document option, then select the slide you want to land in when that icon is clicked. Then just repeat the process to all icons.
let us now try the hyperlinks. The next step is to create a back button for the remaining slides. We can do that by adding this kind of shape. Then we will just copy it then change the colors. After that, group the shapes then save it as PNG image so we can add hyperlinks. Delete the shapes, then add the PNG image we saved. After that, apply hyperlink to slide 1. So whenever we click that button, it will go back directly to the first slide or the dashboard slide. Just copy the button then paste it to the other slides to save time. Let us now try the back button if this will work. The last step is to add transition for the dashboard slide. I'm gonna apply the push transition, then select the direction from top. While for the remaining slides, we can also apply the push transition, but this time the direction is from bottom, so it is the opposite direction of what we have with the, with the dashboard slide. We can also group this dashboard, so we can easily adjust them to the center. So here is the final result for this tutorial. I will link down below the site for PickBest and when you click that link you can enjoy PickBest for 7 days free trial. So that's basically it. I hope you learned something for today. Again, this is Gemo Edits and thank you for watching.